Hi again, it's Miss My Yorga. This is part two. This uh, will probably be a very short video, but this is part two of lesson eight. I just need to wrap up bubble six. So we left off on bubble five in part one. If you need to go back and do that, you can go back and watch part one of lesson eight. But let's go ahead and continue on to bubble six. Okay, we already did both of these going on to bubble six. Make it fit. The food is way too big on the plate to fit on the plate. Use your knowledge of Sprite properties to make it fit. Do this. Run the program to see how big the food is. All right. So this is what we have now. Use Sprite properties to scale all of the food prop sprites down so they fit on the plate. So essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to change the size of your burger, your watermelon, and your fries. Um, I guess they called the watermelon dessert. Um, fries, burger, dessert. You're trying to change the size. So look at the sprite blocks. Sprite.x, sprite.y, sprite.scale, sprite.rotation. Which of these blocks has to do with size? Which of these properties has to do with size? Hopefully you said scale, right? When we scale things big, small. Um, so what you want to do is you want to use the sprite.scale block for each of these sprites, each of these variables. Um, and you want to change the scale. Remember, when you use a scale value of 0 to 1, a decimal 0 to 1, what's going to happen to the picture? It's going to get smaller, right? Think about 0 0.5. That's half. So if you use 0 0.5, the picture should get smaller. Any decimal less than 1 greater than 0 is going to make the picture smaller. If you want the picture to be bigger, what kind of values would you use? You would use numbers greater than 1. In this case, we don't want the picture to get bigger. They're already too big, so we actually want the picture to get smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and do the fries, but it's going to be your task to do the burger and the dessert. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let me look at my image fries. Okay, so I'm going to bring the sprite.scale block. I'm going to set it right underneath fries.setAnimation right here. And before I change the value of my uh, scale, I need to make sure that I change the label of this command All right so here i need to put fries because i want the computer to know that i'm talking about the fries sprite the fries variable so fries scale gets value and i guess around i'm going to try 0 0.8 that looks maybe still too big i'm not 100 percent sure I won't know until I scale all of the other ones, but go ahead and try it out. If you need to go back and change uh, the values, you always can, but just remember that decimals zero between zero and one are gonna make your images smaller. So you're essentially gonna do the same thing, but for burger and dessert, and make sure that in the end, all three foods fit onto the plate. Once you have that, then you are done with this bubble, all right? For our class, bubble eight is sorry bubble seven is an optional challenge so no you do not have to do that you're welcome to explore it but you do not have to do bubble seven bubble six is the one that i will be grading right with that this is the end of part two told you super short if you have any questions you can always message me on schoology or ask me in class all right everybody i'll see you in class goodbye everyone